Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Tiana Cole J. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, thank you for clicking on the link and welcome. So, I decided I wanted to do the how I did my makeup in high school challenge thingamajigger. So, I mean, yeah, because I did do my makeup starting junior year, I want to say. And I really thought I was doing big things senior year and just, just no. So, I'm just going to break it down to you what I did for my makeup. Okay, so usually girls get started in makeup because they're watching their older parent, older parents, their mom or grandma or, you know, these days most girls get like makeup from YouTube and stuff. Well, I didn't know anything about beauty on YouTube until like a couple of years ago. So, I typically got into makeup because my grandma was always wearing makeup. And growing up, I would always have like dark spots because I would always pick up my face so yeah that's how I got started so pretty much the stuff that I use I stole from her but I'm gonna use some of the products that I have here kind of like show what I did I started the type of foundation I would do foundation first like that's it just foundation I didn't know nothing about priming nothing, nothing that a 17 year old knows now I didn't know and I thought I was looking like top-notch so anyway I used powder foundations for my grandmother she got it from like this line in Macy's I don't even know if they, they don't have any more I guess but I would always take her foundation powder and just powder the crap really I would just powder the crap out of my face and if I saw a spot that really wasn't covering I would just take the powder and just go ahead on that one spot and I actually used like a cream powder, so like it was even worse. It was so cakey, like it was just really bad. But just to show how I went ham with like, and it like would never cover my spots all the way, but I thought it was doing everything I needed to do. For my eyebrows, like I, <laughs> it's so bad. I would use like a black liner, like legit a black eyeliner for my eyes. I thought I was so cute. I thought like I was really doing the thing and just no. Like just just no and no one told me any better. So I would literally like be in the mirror and just draw. And yeah, that's it. I didn't have like a little thing to clean them up. I would just draw pitch black liner. <laughs> what I did is I would like put my brush to like I don't know I remember I would do this I don't know what it was supposed to do but maybe like tame it out a little bit I guess I don't know but I would always do that why I don't know but it made it even worse like it would be bad and then I would go back into my foundation and then just use it up again just eat as a child I just wasted product it just looks scary now on to the eyes I would use these palettes from hard candy like the ones that you buy at Walmart like all of those all the like little girls well back in the day the little girls would buy from Walmart and I, I don't know why but I would always try to do golds or purples and then I would try to do like transition shades for like a smoky eye so I would use like the blacks and silvers so if you look at it you can see there's no mattes so I'm literally putting just shimmer everywhere so it was just bad and I would use one brush for everything because that's all I had and I thought I was getting chopped up like I'm gonna take like this dark gray and like literally what I would do is I'd be like starting here and then I would just go off just straight up and I would do this I would just swipe it on just like that and I did not care how high up it went because I'm like, oh, it's going to crease, so I'm putting it in the right place. Like, just no. I didn't blend at all. Like, at all, at all. When I say at all, I mean at all. But, 
like it didn't matter to me. I didn't think it was necessary, I guess. I don't know. Then I would take like a super dark color and like I would try to do what some girls were doing. So I want I knew I wanted it to get like smoky. So I would blend the, the crap out of that thing onto the eye, but not blend it out so it looks decent. Like what the heck? And then anytime I would add black, I would just straight up raccoon my eye. Like, it was just always bad. And then of course I would be like, oh, it's time for color. And then this purple. So I could do like, purple smoky eye but, and mind you I wouldn't change brushes I only had one and I would just swipe everything together and then like to highlight like I saw girls talking about oh highlighting I would use like a super white shade just straight up white and then put it here and it would be a shimmer like not just like you know some shimmers that we put on our brow bone like to make it pop some. like a straight up glitter shade and I would just pat that in there I wouldn't blend my blend game was not strong at all, like at all. I was trying to do that gradient thing, so I would put like a little color in here with the same freaking brush. I didn't even like dust it off or tap it off or anything. I would just grab color and go. And like, I would swear that is like the greatest thing known to man. And I would use like a random eyeliner from the drugstore or from like the beauty supply store and it would always be some weird liner like all the ones I used to have I threw away but it will always be some weird eyeliner I don't know but yeah but I thought I could like you know work it out so what I would do is just straight up draw a line like just straight up like that just straight up draw and then for a ring I would just drag it like I would just go off of like some pictures I've seen but I didn't know about the various videos on YouTube that I could have watched so I just copied maybe one thing somebody did and like ran with it and I never went back to like make sure everything was straight and I always have the creeps and bumps from places I didn't like go over and it would just be so bad and no do not talk to me about symmetry Symmetry for what? Yes. Yes. I will always take like a pitch black liner and just go completely out of my waterline. And then connect it. Why am I connecting? I don't know. But I will look extremely, extremely goth. Don't care. Like, what's a waterline? Is pretty much what I would say. I'll use like a random, like a random mascara and just coat it. And make sure I made sure that they were extra clumpy. So that's pretty much what the eyes were. And you know, I thought this, that. Hmm. is the way to do things like that that is a makeup so I would steal my grandmother's lipstick and it doesn't matter what color makeup look I did I only used one lipstick and it was like this L'Oreal lipstick that was pink and I would just you know oh my gosh the memories with this lipstick is you did I literally use this Every day, it's plopped on my mm, yeah, yeah. and yeah. Wow, it's crazy. Like seeing how, like knowing how you used to do your makeup and then seeing it and be like, that looks terrible. But yeah, that's this is my my bottom. This is the starting at the bottom. I want to thank you guys for watching this video and if you're just getting started into makeup and your makeup happens to look like this it's okay like we all gotta start somewhere but I think there's a lot of resources out now that 
you don't have to go through this. If you choose to, that's up to you, you know, starting at your own path. But there are so many ways to avoid it. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you like me doing challenges and trends that other people are doing, give this video a thumbs up. And if you remember doing your makeup crazy, kind of like this, leave some comments down below. Let me know the kinds of things that you would do that will make you look a hot mess, but you thought you were popping. And make sure you are subscribed if you're not already so you guys always know when I'm uploading. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.